his youthful pastimes in Vrindavan. So if you want to know about Krishna, the reservoir of pleasure, you should read these pastimes which are given in Krishna book, especially the first, oh, 39 chapters or something like that, the Krishna book. But we study those in the introductory course, the, uh, the Bhakta degree program. So the next one is Vyadhi. Vyadhi means disease. A feverish condition produced by separation or due to an excess in the humors, doshas, of the body, mucus, bile, and air. This is called Vyadhi. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur explains in his commentary to Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2490 that this imbalance of bodily doshas arises from severe distress due to separation or hearing of Krishna's defeat at the hands of the demons. In actuality, it is the bhavas or spiritual transformations of the heart arising from separation and severe distress that are called vyadi. The symptoms of vyadi are becoming stunned, slackening of the limbs, breathing heavily, severe distress and fatigue. So, in other words, sometimes Krishna is fighting with the demons and it'll appear that he's losing. And somebody will say, Krishna's losing, Krishna's losing. Huh? And someone else hears that. And they think, oh, Krishna actually was defeated by the demons. Now, this is so disturbing. This is so distressing because Krishna is the support of everything. Krishna is the root of everything. And if you think that Krishna has been vanquished by the demons, oh, that's the end of everything. So this causes a severe derangement of the bodily airs, the elements, uh, the doshas. In Ayurveda, there are three doshas. Anybody remember what they are? Kapha. Kapha. Yeah, we talked about this so many times. It's like, duh, come on. Pitta, Vata, and Kapha, which are fire, air, and, well, mud. <laughs> fire, air, and a combination of earth and water. So Kapha is fire? Kapha. Kapha. K-A-P-H-A, -A, Kappa. Huh? We talked about this so many times. How could you not remember this? Your physiology, my physiology are Kappa. His is Pitta. Mm -hmm. huh? so you get that blank look yeah, in your eyes I, like, I, duh. I going that deeply into it just oh, we talked about it, I don't know, 20 times. I can remember, but you cannot, O oh conqueror of the enemy. <laughs> I remember all of them. Anyway, so in Ayurveda, there are these three doshas, three, three combinations of elements. When they're in balance, then we're healthy. When they go out of balance, then there's disease, or well, vyadi. Vyadi, but vyadi isn't an actual disease in the sense of a physical condition. Vyadi is caused by a derangement of consciousness because we hear that Krishna has been defeated. Why did they say that we, someone hears that Krishna is defeated? Because we never actually see that Krishna is defeated. Krishna is never defeated. But a rumor can get started out of fear, huh? and somebody could hear that rumor and believe it, and then they would suffer from vyadi, because they would become so distraught, so distressed. Or sometimes Krishna pretends he's defeated. Yeah, he can pretend like that. He likes to do like that. Just to keep it on. Yeah, he likes drama, you know. Krishna loves drama. The last minute escapes. The and, then the, yeah, I mean, he loves stuff like that. Yeah, it's very dramatic. So, uh, Vyadi. <coughs> uh, 
Next one is moha. Moha means fainting or delusion. Loss of consciousness arising from jubilation, separation, fear, or despondency is called moha. Symptoms of moha are falling on the ground, cessation of the functioning of the senses, dizziness, and absence of activity. What causes dizziness? Not necessarily. Let's assume that there's no physical cause. But when a person becomes disoriented, and they literally forget which way is up, which way is up, which way is down. Huh? They, this is called vertigo. It happens in pilots, for example, when they're in, uh, when, when they're in instrument conditions. And the visibility is very low. And all they have to go by is their instruments. Uh, you can become can, can become dizzy because there's no physical physical reference outside. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can become disoriented, and this is usually a very bad thing uh, because under those conditions, your safety and your uh, doing the right thing depends on knowing which way is up. Okay, so in these cases, uh, one can do things that are very uh, even life-threatening. So similarly, uh, for example, the gopis, when they become separated from Krishna, they they uh, become so introverted that they they lose connection with the outside world. Uh, they get into their own inner world so completely that they forget. You know, like which way is the material world? They lose all track of it, like that, and they experience this moha. This is a remember. All of these are ecstatic symptoms. The, from the outside, it may look like the person's devastated, but from within, it's completely ecstatic. You're looking at me like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> You have to experience these things, and then you'll know. No? Don't worry, it's coming. Um, the next one is mriti. Mriti means death. <laughs> Giving up the life air, prana, due to disease, despondency, fear, physical debility, or an assault is called mriti. The symptoms of mriti are indistinct speech, change of color, shallow breathing, and hiccups. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 24102, Srila Rupa Goswami explains that the Vyabhichari Bhava, known as mriti, does not refer to actual death, but because the symptoms resemble the condition of the body just before death, it's called mriti. Did you ever hear anybody say, oh, I just wanted to die? Huh? Yeah, yeah what, what does that mean? They were so embarrassed or they were so compromised or they were so uh, despondent or, or something like that. It felt like death. It felt like they were going to die. Huh? This is murti. It's not actual death. They're not actually dying. Huh? But they feel like that feels like, oh, oh, oh I'm going to die. Huh? If you've never felt like that, you don't know what I'm talking about. But actually, there was no, there was no physical reason for it. But when, when, when the, someone says, oh, I want to die, you know, in that situation, I didn't want to be there anymore. Didn't want to be there anymore, yeah. So when things get so bad that you don't want to exist anymore, this is called mriti. Ah. They were, the scripture mentions they died, basically. Yeah, they actually died. That's another one. Right? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's mrityu. Oh, 
Mrityu means actual physical death. Mriti means like dying. And uh, one more. Alasya. Alasya. Alasya means laziness. When, in spite of being able to do so, there is non-engagement in activity arising due to satisfaction or fatigue. It is called alasya. Symptoms of alasya are yawning, aversion to activity, rubbing the eyes, laying down, drowsiness, and sleep. That. Totally ecstatic. Yeah, after prashadam. After prashadam, right. <laughs> <laughs> these guys have been cooking up these amazing feasts. <laughs>